Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here. Just wanted to do a quick review of The Possession. Just got out of the movie. Couldn't, just didn't do one in the car, but I wanted to do one right when I got home. You know, I will say one thing about this movie. This is one of those kind of horror movies where, you know, you feel kind of creeped out by it. You know, after you leave, it's kind of like, like The Ring kind of had that same kind of effect. You know, you just sort of feel like very creeped out. Like everything in this one, you know... I, I really felt like a lot of the scares and a lot of the stuff in this really worked. And it wasn't even just scares in this movie. It was just like the whole element, the whole vibe, and everything with this movie just felt like very creepy, very uncomfortable. Very, you know, every, everything really, I felt like, worked in this one. Like, I have not seen one like this in a long time where everything really worked. And I know that it was cut down you know, from an R rating. or I saw two different things about one that it said it was on appeal, which means if they didn't have to cut anything, and then one thing said that they did. So I'm not sure, well, I'm sure there's going to be an, a, you know, uncut, you know, director's cut, you know, when it comes out on Blu-ray and stuff. You know, Sam Raimi produced this. The director is from Denmark, so he's done a lot of foreign films. And I remember hearing a lot about his movies, like, and a lot of, I always find, too, a lot of, like, the foreign directors and foreign horror films are always creepier. And this one really was, it was a little bit like, you know, something like The Grudge, but not not exactly. Because this wasn't one of those kind of ones where you're seeing a whole lot of things, you know, like, you know, people, you know what I mean? Like, um, woman coming out of the thing and stuff like that. This was basically, the plot of this was, was a, you know, a recently divorced father with his two kids. He just moved into his new house and he has, you know, shares custody with his wife. So they moved to a new house. And they're going out, you know, trying to get, you know, stuff to put in the house. Like, they need plates and stuff. They end up seeing a, um, you know, like a yard sale. And, um, they, they, you know, the one girl's like, oh, can I get this box? And at the very beginning of the movie, you see this box with this old woman in the house. And, you know, the box is talking to her. And she gets thrown all around and basically crippled by this thing. So you basically see that they end up buying the box that was, you know, in the beginning, you know, it was a terrible thing. So one girl gets home, the, the youngest daughter, and figures out how to open the thing, because there's no hinges on it. It's all basically like an enclosed box, and, you know, it's basically like that for a reason. And she figures out how to open it up, and why, by doing that, it's a very terrible, you know, thing to have done. And it, there's all kinds of, like, you know, the thing is talking to her, and it basically possesses her. And I don't want to go into too many details about, you know, what happens in this thing. Because, you know, the trailer shows some stuff, but doesn't show everything. Um, but, you know, it's basically about possessions and things like that. You know, I think it was a pretty decent trailer for the most part. Um, but I think it was better than, you know, what you see. The one thing this movie did, too, that I thought was pretty cool was right, you know, a lot of the times when things were really bad, like it was like something very creepy, which just suddenly cut you know, the sound and everything to an aerial shot, you know, of the house and things like that. And it, it worked. I thought it was a pretty cool technique they did a lot of times in this. And like I said, too, even for a PG-13 one, even being, if it was cut down, it did really work pretty well. I know there's going to be some people, though, that say it sucked and stuff like that, but I don't know. I, I, I really felt like this one really worked pretty well. And the girl that was possessed, you know, some of these movies... The actress and stuff is doing a little over the top with it, and it doesn't seem very believable. In this one, it really she really pulled off making it really seem like there was two people, and you know, basically her and the person possessing her, and it really did work. I really would recommend this one. I really thought it was very, like I said, very creepy. Had this like the vibe of you know the you know the Ring, the, the Ring remake, and then a lot of the Japanese horror films and things like that, like things like The Eye. And that kind of stuff mixed with, you know, vibes of, like, classics like The Exorcist and things like that. And I know it's weird to compare something like this to it, but it really did have some of those creepy elements with the, some of those older movies that had really worked. And I definitely would recommend this one. You know, I've seen some, like I said, some mixed reviews of this. I think, you know, sometimes, you know, I kind of feel like if people are in a good mood when they see stuff, you know, maybe they don't like it or maybe they, some people were so uncomfortable by how long it went with some of these things because it, it was one of those kind of movies where it just kept on going like one thing after another after another it wasn't like 
you know, chill down. And there was no sequences like that where it's like, oh, it's 25 minutes until there's something else creepy. I mean, it was creepy. Like I said, the entire movie, the entire vibe of the whole movie was creepy the whole way through. And this whole thing with the box and, you know, everything. I don't know. I highly would recommend this one. I really thought this was one of the bit like the really like one of some of the best of this kind of thing in a long time compared, compared to like other possession movies like you know that one I saw recently Demon Scenes that really shows how bad some of those are and how like when things are done really well then they work how creepy they can be and it was just like just like seeing the ring the first time as I really did find creepy it was that same kind of feeling like same time of like when you leave the theater you feel creeped out and I have not had that from a movie in a very long time and you know and this one too when it was over like the whole audience was cheering and stuff like I you know and it shows too how the Paramount Activity ones you know aren't that creepy you know they have some elements the last one was okay but this one really I really thought personally worked but anyway though I just like I said I felt like this like I, I'm interested in hearing what you guys think of it but I really did feel like this was a pretty creepy one and really did work. But anyway, though, thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.